You're listening to Short Inspirations from Ralph, saying goodbye to Struggle Street, part three. You know, over the years, there are various pastoral care issues that arise in trying to help people, hot zones, finances, for example, parenting issues, relationship issues, addiction struggles, And there are genuine struggles, of course, in all of these. People are doing what they can. Yet there is still something lacking. What is that? Often a person's greatest lack is not the presenting issues. I'll say that again. Often a person's greatest lack is not the presenting issues, but a lack of wisdom. Do you have money problems or wisdom problems? If you come to a trusted spiritual mentor and they give you good sound advice, great wisdom, do you take it or run? Do you pick and choose the advice that you only want to hear? Or do you even go to another counsellor because the previous one didn't say what you wanted to hear? Ouch! This is quite hard hitting this episode, but it's really important. Is it a marriage problem or is it a wisdom problem? Often it's the very last thing you want to hear that can be the right and wise solution to your marriage. Never underestimate the importance of wisdom. In James 1.5, he says, If any of you lacks wisdom, here it is, let him ask of God, who gives all generously and without reproach, and it will be given to him. He gives generously and without condemnation, if you like, or nailing a person or judging a person. If you ask of him, asking of God is such a powerful thing. Even the writer of Proverbs talks about this. Proverbs 4, 7 and 8. The beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom. Though it cost all you have, get understanding, cherish her, and she will exalt you, embrace her, and she will honor you. Wow, that's powerful. If we trust God patiently, and not riches or the crooked advice of others, or even ourselves, it's incredible how that can bring the blessings of God into our lives and propel us out of Struggle Street. People, it's time to change your address. Go from Struggle Street to Wisdom Street. It's like Freedom Street, really. Proverbs 2.6 says, For the Lord gives wisdom, From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He holds success in store for the upright. He is a shield to those whose walk is blameless. And so the Bible puts wisdom and success in the same zone, same category. Don't ever feel that it's not God's will for you to be successful. And of course, what man calls success is not the same as how God defines it. Success is not just about stuff and things and money. It's not just about fame and fortune. It's just like the times of Joshua where the scripture says, you will make your way prosperous and have good success. He has success in store And I believe that success is not money, it is 
this great thing of joy and happiness in your relationships and in your purpose in life. God bless you.